Hoy se ven. Anyways, so today's video is going to be on how you can build a better back that people asking me questions on my like, TikTok on social media. So I'm just going to give you the best exercise that I know and that I did previously to actually build my back. So starting off, number one, this is the most important exercise I would say is a pull up. If you can't do pull ups, cool, you can do lat pull downs, but the pull up and the pulling movement is, in my opinion, a superior movement compared to any other sort of rows or any dumbbell exercises. Or any weighted exercises, just getting the pull up mastered and doing loads of those is gonna actually, you're gonna see a lot of progress and a lot of development from that. Okay, so one of the main reasons I like the pull up so much is because number one, you don't need equipment. I, do, I used to do it on a bunk bed or even on a door frame, or you can buy like cheap equipment from Amazon, the indoor pull up bar, 10 pounds, whatever, 10, 20 pounds, and you can do this everywhere and anywhere. Um, so when you're starting off, they're gonna be pretty difficult, and a good way to actually progress that is by doing a pull up negative. Show that now you lower yourself as slowly as you can and keep it controlled. That's the essential portion of the, of the movement, and you build it up until you can eventually actually pull yourself up. Number two, why I like them is because it's pretty much in every part of your back. Cool, it's going to be lat focused, but as a whole, you're hitting all portions of your back, and you're actually going to develop a good back from doing those. With the pull ups, a big thing that will actually hinder you and stop you from seeing the gains you want to see is your form. Look at me sideways. Here's the form that we're doing like that. I've done this so many times, but I don't care, I'm gonna do it again. Elbows going back like that. So you're leaning back, retracting your scapula as you're doing the pull up. If you're doing this, you're using your biceps. Don't be doing this when you're doing it. You don't want to get back development. If you want back development, you really want to be driving and uh, directing the movement with your elbows, because that is what is going to keep your lats engaged and allow you to get the most out of each rep. Okay, next exercise I'm gonna talk about is going to be the row. I'm gonna talk about two rows. You've got the T-bar row and you've got the barbell row. So with the barbell row, lean forward, keep your chest up. And for me, I like to do the underarm grip because I feel like I get to squeeze the lats a lot, a lot better. So okay. uh, supinate your wrists, underarm grip, and you're bringing your elbows back. It's always your elbows directing the movement when you're doing any sort of back workout. Elbows directing the movement. So my elbows are coming back, just past my hips, and I keep them low and tucked. Like that. So if you have to look, you'll see how much of a difference it makes. If I keep my elbows up front, like this, you don't feel back engaging. If I keep them tucked and back, now you can see my back is working. So that is what I'm doing. And you'll get amazing, amazing light gains from doing that. Correct form, be like this. Correct form, elbows down, chop back. See my back's already engaged before I lift. And pull them back towards my hips, keep them tight and low. Correct form, there you go. So, the barbell row. Next, we've got the T-bar row. And I really like this one growing up as well. The hella T-bar rows could grow really heavy. I wouldn't advise it until you get your form right, but is a great exercise you can do to get to go heavy. Compared to like a deadlift, deadlifts, they're great exercises. I love deadlifts, I like doing them. But I don't do them to get back development. I do them for overall strength. If you want to develop your back, you're going to have to do these exercises that I'm telling you now. Instead of doing more of a compound uh, full body exercise because you're not really going to get as much out of it in terms of hypertrophy compared to doing like pull ups, uh, rows, etc. So T-bar row, pretty much same thing. Except from your hands will be closer together and you keep your elbows tucked and in. Your hands are going to be in this sort of position because of the T-bar and you're bringing it into your pelvis area. That's where you're going to bring the handle. Like this. And you're keeping your elbows low and tucked behind you and squeeze your back on the way up. Keep your chest up and engage. You'll, make them, you'll get so much more of the exercise if you keep the form right. Compared to doing this, you're using your biceps, 
uh, and you're just like using the legs and stuff, you know, you want to keep it nice, controlled, chest up, and pulling your hands to your waist, elbows back and tucked. I actually been worked out at all today. I've got back pump from just doing this exercise, these demonstrations. Because I had the form right and I kept my uh, back engaged, even with no weight, you can see there's a pump there. Form over everything. Cool, so there all the exercise is done. Now I'm just gonna give you a quick bonus workout that you can do. Follow it along, the reps and sets are gonna be on the screen. So these are what I would advise to do if you wanna get your back uh, developed on your back day. Try these exercises. Video complete. Thanks for watching. Hope you get something from this and we'll implement it into your next pack workout. So yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, man. We then subscribe, like, share with friends, and yeah, see you in the next one.